Hi there and welcome to Fluffy Jellyfish. In today's video we've got a pumpkin picking adventure for you guys. <laughs> As you can see, Horntail is out at the moment and he is reviewing the pumpkins that we carved. Aren't you? <laughs> so you'll get to see how the rats react to all of the pumpkins that we made and you'll get to see lots of vlog clips from our little pumpkin picking adventure. So enjoy! It's a little bit late in the posting so enjoy the spookiness in your November and do stick around to the end of the video to check out how our pets enjoyed the pumpkins. We're on our way to pick pumpkins at the pumpkin patch and it's miserable weather so we've got all our waterproofs on! And umbrellas of course. I'm excited even though the weather is rush. <laughs> Stuart is obviously excited as well as you can see, although his face doesn't show you because Stuart's face never shows that it's excited. <laughs> Start of the spooky trail. Yeah. It's a bit spooky. was grown in Belgium and weighed 1,990 kilograms, which is heavier than a polar bear. My beautiful Moo and his massive norks. <laughs> Did you know there are over 1,000 ghost sightings in the UK every year? Did you know that? I know there's a thousand people who think they saw a ghost. Here's a ghost. Your balls are almost as orange as Donald Trumpkin. <laughs> Stop it, you weirdo. <laughs> are you spooked by the spooky trail? Very much. <laughs> Super spooky. I'm just terrified. It <laughs> is in fact trash. <laughs> trash is trash is spooky to be fair. You know, pollution's bad. That is pretty scary. Look, it's a spooky cow on the spooky trail. Some more spooky cows. Spooky ghosts! Or as that little child said, scary plastic bags. <laughs> That's cute. This is the aesthetic that I want our house to have. So You're not having witches as a house? Why not? Because you're having a druid house. Yeah, I would like a druid house. Red baby! Yeah, no. Frog is definitely more cottage core than spooky, but I, I'm digging it. I think it's just us that's sarcastic. I feel like the people that put this together were quite sarcastic. Very possibly. <laughs> the witches, me. I'm not. They might, they might get you. Especially this one. She's got no legs, but she might get you. She's flying. For a spooky trail, it's very pretty. Halloween special ice cream. I'm excited for this. What flavour is it? Sorry. Before heading back, we decided to extend our little adventure by popping along to North Eric and visiting the harbour. And of course, indulging in some spooky ice cream. Our pumpkin children are all ready to go. As soon as we got home, we got into carving our pumpkins. Stuart's never carved pumpkins before, so this was really exciting for us to do together. In his design, he went for the classic jack-o'-lantern. And I think it turned out really awesome. He added some red sharpie onto it to make it look like blood, and that was really cool. And in my little mini pumpkin, I went for a bat design, which I think turned out really great, and it was a lot easier to do than my bigger pumpkin. 
I of course went for the bum pumpkin because of course I did which was my bigger one and it was really tough <laughs> the walls were so thick so it was quite hard to carve and obviously I decided to go for a quite difficult design in the rat and yeah it was tough but I got there in the end and I think my rat turned out pretty cool And then the most important step when pumpkin carving, lying your pets review the work you've done. The rat babies were quite excited to explore but didn't seem that keen to eat the pumpkins. They had a few nibbles here and there but weren't overly bothered by them. They mostly just wanted to run about them and explore the pumpkins. Horntail even decided to get inside and seemed to like sitting in the pumpkin. He sat in there for ages just washing his little face. It was quite sweet. Later that night in the evening, I cut up some of the excess pumpkin that had been on the inside and they seemed to enjoy that a lot more and they ate some of the seeds as well. Lots of pumpkin treats for everybody. We then decided to pop the pumpkins in with Elvis to see what he would make of them. And he went straight in there to have a good munch. I definitely wouldn't recommend having pumpkin as part of their everyday diet, but for a once a year treat, this was perfect, and Elvis enjoyed nibbling on a bat's toe. He had a good go of it before I took it out, and seemed to enjoy the little bit of enrichment that we gave him with these pumpkins. A nice little spooky treat for this grumpy old man. And even our invertebrates got in on the action. And last but not least, the pumpkins were reviewed by the newest member of the fluffy jellyfish family. Meet Thor. Thor is a fabulous rescue kitty and we're so excited to have him in our family. Stay tuned as I will be uploading a video soon all about Thor and you'll get to meet him. He is fantastic. I love him so much and I really hope you're excited to meet him properly in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little pumpkin patch adventure and I hope you enjoyed seeing the rats and how they reacted to all of our pumpkins. And of course, I hope you enjoyed meeting Thor. I have a video upcoming all about Thor and how we got him and how he came to be in our lives so do stay tuned for that and hit that subscribe button if you want to see Thor's entrance into the fluffy jellyfish family. But that's all from us for just now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, <laughs> oh hard tail! Oh no! Come on, let's go back. I've got a biscuit for you that you didn't eat while you were out. Let's go!